Hi and welcome back to Larand Gaming and if you are new to the channel, welcome. Hi, I am Larand and yes, it's time for a little hunting guide. Hunting for piranhas. Yes, I saw there's been a lot of comments about piranhas. The hitbox is very small, it's very hard to hit them. Uh, they are very <laughs> annoying, they are fast and so on so we need to take a closer look at them of course and i'm gonna share you my tactic when i fight the piranhas i think i have a pretty good and efficient method currently so why not share it with you all because uh, yeah we all need to get those small fishes they are small and dangerous and of course this is the kind of loot that you can get, except for this one in the middle. So this is the one that you can fish in ancient shores, the river. So exclude that one. But we have piranha meat, which is the common piece. We have the uncommon, which is the piranha tail. We have a piranha fin, which is rare. We also have a piranha tooth, which is legendary. And a piranha head, which is also legendary. And of course, this one that everyone wants, or at least I would say many wants. The baby piranha, the egg. And uh, yeah, I have one also in the aquarium we can go go and take a look at it a little bit later because now we're gonna go straight into hunting piranhas and one thing that is important to know when you hunt piranhas is that you can use spears you don't need axes which is just totally awesome <laughs> i don't think everyone knows this but very very useful to know because then i can use well in my case i will use the sunburst but before uh, we're gonna go and do all the hunting parts. We need to know something about the piranha. They are small, they are dangerous, but the question is how dangerous are they really? So, well, I did discover a few things when I did all this investigations. And uh, we're gonna find a single piranha. There's sharks here. We don't need you right now. <laughs> but uh, we need to know something about the attack pattern. This is kind of important to know. Many get stressed when they are attacked by piranhas for a good reason because they are piranhas uh, but more sharks oh my god uh, <laughs> but uh, the thing is that uh, the less you move the safer you are that might sound strange but the thing is that the piranhas they are so aggressive and they jump around so they basically will most of the cases miss you actually if you don't move. Oh, here we have a perfect example of this. So here we have one single piranha. And what we're gonna do? Well, first of all, we're gonna try it out. Let's jump into the water. Like this. I'm gonna stand still. Let's take a look at it. What does it do? We have two piranhas now all of a sudden. Uh, as you can see, it's trying to attack, but it doesn't hit me. The only dangers is the lag spikes. As you can see, they start to sort of fly away in air. That means that they get a little bit out of sync with the, with the attack. So this one did actually manage to hurt me a little bit this time. But uh, as you can see, that was another lag spike. Then they get out a little bit out of sync. But overall, they are not that dangerous. So three bites, that's what it takes to take me down. And uh, I regain <laughs> my health currently. So really not a big deal when you are in the water with just a few piranhas. If there are plenty of them, of course, then it starts to be dangerous. Because then they start to hit each other. And they get a little bit out of sync. And then they will start to bump into you. And that will hurt you. Uh, but in this video, we're going to swim with, uh, I would say, at least 10 piranhas. Because we can handle that. Uh, that was also something that was out of sync. So he attacked me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we need to find more piranhas. But this was at least something that you need to know before we start this. So let's go find... A big pile of piranhas and what we're gonna do in this video we're gonna do something new we're gonna have a screen overlay this will help you when I try to explain how I move so you're gonna see what buttons I press this is very good because <laughs> I think it will help a lot so as you can see if I sh press shift you will see that and as I move forward I press W and if I turn around you can see all the buttons that needs to be shown which is great and I also keep pressing right mouse button because I rotate the camera Otherwise, I would just have a free floating cursor. So I hope this will help a lot when you see me swim around with piranhas. Because the movement pattern is really easy. So yeah, alright. Let's go find those piranhas. Yes, and I think we have found a bunch of piranhas. So here we have them. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to circle around them. 
You can do this with any boat. This boat goes just faster, that's all. But uh, the thing is that when you circle them around, this is just normal crowd control in any game. There are many enemies at one place basically, so crowd control them, so they swim all together like this. Uh, when you are satisfied with how they are gathered, something like that, uh, you can jump down. And as you can see, the piranhas, they are grouped together very nicely right now. And I'm not going to attack them. I'm just going to let you watch and how they behave. So this is what they look like. And that's how they swim. They will eventually start to get a little bit out of sync. Lag spikes will also affect them. So all of a sudden they might start to fly away or just dive to, towards the bottom of the ocean. But this is how they move. And because of this, I have a pretty easy target. So what I do is just basically I swim like this and I take them one by one. So not really that difficult as you can see. And I leveled up. But what you do now is just to finish them all off. And you can see my movement. Uh, it's very simple key buttons right now. So S and D buttons, so I move backwards and I also move sideways. I have the shift so I swim a little bit faster and uh, of course the last one is the most difficult one because then it is all by itself. But once you have done that you have taken a lot of piranhas actually in a very short period of time and <laughs> the loot was just, it was horrible. Take a look at this. Meat. So much meat, I've never had it like, oh wait a minute, I'm sorting, sorry. <laughs> I thought something was wrong. So yeah, uh, this is what it looks like. A lot of meat, a lot of tails, a lot of fins, nothing really special. But we're gonna find some more piranhas because now they were moving a little bit easy. Sometimes they move up and down a little bit and uh, I will show you what that also looks like. Here we have some more piranhas. I think I saw something here. Yes, we do. And we also have a shark. All right. Uh, we're going to ignore the shark. We can't kill the shark with a spear, as many of you already know. Uh, but we're going to go down and going to do the same thing. We're going to swim in a circular motion. We're going to try to kill the piranhas. A little bit more chaotic here. I'm going to touch the tail fin of the shark. That way it will swim away. So I will basically have more time to hunt. Touch that fin again. It's also easier if I go down a little bit. Then I don't have to be uh, worried about this water surface. Shark is here again. So I'm going to touch the tail fin. But you can see the piranhas, they have already grouped together like this again. I'm gonna touch the tail fin of the shark so I don't have to care about him. And uh, we can probably finish off the re remaining piranhas and uh, well the shark can just swim away. I don't need him. I touch him again so I'm gonna be able to safely go up. There we go. And we can leave the shark. Yes, here we have some more piranhas. Excellent. I don't know how many they are, but uh, well, it's a good amount of piranhas. So we're going to face them, of course, in the water. Not going to do any hunting from the boat. So uh, I think they are pretty nicely piled up together like this. Equip the sunburst. I'm going to jump down like that. As you can see, it's a huge pile of piranhas. And we can start to finish them off. Swimming pretty easily around, as you can see on the uh, input overlay that I added. Not so complicated movements. Uh, they will bump into each other, and when they do, I'm going to stop hunting now, just to show you. When they start to bump into each other, that's when they start to line up themselves, and uh, uh, they all group together. That's a lag spike, as you can see. Some of them flew away, and someone was diving. So that's a good way of telling that we have some lag. This one is still flying over there. But we don't care about those right now. As we can see, these ones are going to be pretty easy targets. 
Uh, once they are grouped together, we can just finish them off. I'm gonna make the timing right. This is practice also, because uh, if you haven't done it before, sure, you're gonna miss a few, but uh, then again, seeing the piranhas from the side, then the hitbox is larger. If you just see them right in the front or from behind, then they're gonna be very thin. It's like a plate, you know. Uh, seeing a plate from the side is very small, but if you try to hit a plate from a side, that's very different. So that's another one, and we have just one more. And there we go. Uh, a few other, <laughs> a few others of them, they flew away, so they're gonna be somewhere around nearby. But that's the general tactic when I hunt these piranhas, and I think I've been pretty successful. I killed, according to the scoreboard, a little bit over uh, a thousand sea creatures the past, I think it's two or three days, uh, which is just awesome. So it's a really good result. I got tons of loot, I got tons of money because of this, and I also got three piranha eggs in total, and uh, I do think that we could be other methods that are better, but uh, this is what I prefer to do. Uh, it's very easy, at least for me, and uh, feel free to try it out. So we can try this group also. They, these were the ones that was, uh, well, they were scattered out because of a lag spike. So, let's see, here we have them. Nice little group. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. <laughs> they bumped into my boat. So, it's also good to, well, stay a little bit away from the boat because they can hit it by accident. That's another one and we have two left. One more, and there we go. So let's see if we got anything fun. So a lot of fins, tails, and meat. We have a tooth, we do have a head, uh, but no eggs. But as you can see, you get so much loot from this. And if I sell this, that's half a million, uh, which is great. Of course, if you don't have uh, twice money, this is still over 250,000. So lot of money in very little time. I'm gonna sell those. But uh, yes, there you have it. <laughs> that's how I, that's how I hunt the piranhas. I think it's great fun. I know many don't like the small hitbox. I can say it, it's the opposite for me. With a small hitbox, I can gather a huge crowd of piranhas without them actually hitting each other. So then I can hunt way more piranhas at the same time. If I get them grouped like this, then I, well, basically I do get a larger hitbox because uh, there's so many targets to hit, basically. And uh, yeah, I think it's great. I love the piranhas, actually. <laughs> it's one of the best. Uh, I think it might actually be my favorite. It's the best sea creature out there. They are a little bit challenging with hitting properly. But if you do it like this and you can hit them from the side, I don't really see it as a big problem. One more small group. <laughs> okay. So if they are scattered like this, it doesn't really matter. Let's keep swimming just like before. They will align themselves. No big deal. As you can see, starting to look good. And this one got away because of lag. Flew away. <laughs> And there we go. So, let's see. Did we get anything fun? Oh, we did. <laughs> yes, we got a baby piranha. Another one. So, we have... Yes, we have two here. Nice. So, let's go and actually put them in the aquarium. I think that's a great idea because... Well, I think you want to see them in the aquarium as well. Yes, and here we are in the aquarium. So we have already one piranha. It's up there, but we're gonna release two more. So we're gonna go into edit mode and we have those two eggs. We need to remove two uh, sharks or orcas. Let's see, we can have, well, we can remove two hammerheads. We could do like this and we add two more piranha eggs. 
like that. Okay, so where are they? I can see one already over here. And uh, yeah, they are swimming backwards. Yes, they are. <laughs> it's not the best, but uh, yeah, gonna go into a free camera. If they were swimming in the right direction, that would be different. But uh, yeah, that's how they swim currently. Uh, I hope it gets fixed. Here's another one. This one is clearly also swimming backwards. And uh, where's the third one? So we had, yeah, we have one, two, and three. So we have three baby piranhas. Nice. Well, in any case, that was all I had for you today. If you do have any questions and comments about this, please put them below. Like this video. If you would like to see more content from Fishing Simulator, please subscribe. And yes, have a nice day. Bye, everyone. <laughs>